What's new, fathead? Hello, I'm Doc Owen with Action Figure Times. Today we're continuing Green Lantern Month, looking at some more Funko goodness with Sinestro and Hal Jordan from the new Green Lantern movie series of the Wacky Wobbler Bobbleheads. Uh, these things are a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and take a look at ha Hal first. As you know, Funko is one of my favorite companies. Um, you can tell right from the packaging why it is. First, I like the fact that Hal's got his ring pointed at me. It's, it gives me a good indication of what I'm going to get. Even if I did not, want to take this out of the package. I could put this on a shelf and I, I have something excellent to look at. A lot of times packages just are, not only that, they're, they're just kind of lame. But not only that, but this package is nice and tightly done. You know how I don't like having a bunch of huge packaging and not much toy. So um, I like the fact that it's got art, art all the way around. Very, very nice. It's got Hal pictures of Hal from the movie uh, on the back, on the sides. Uh, that's very good. The Hal Jordan right there. I, I love some of their... Uh, did they have the, the flaming lantern on this one? They don't have the flaming lantern on this one. I like this bright one, but I like their flaming lantern one that they do. But let's go ahead and get him out of the package. Another thing I like about Funko stuff is how easy it is to get in and take out. Hal comes right out here. Now... His arms move up and down so he's not stuck in that pose. You can tell automatically he's a wobblehead. Now, interesting thing, it's got Hal Jordan across that nameplate. Now, maybe they're trying to emphasize the humanity that a human finally became a Green Lantern, but to be honest with you, I would have preferred to see just Green Lantern there. It does have it written on the back, but I would have preferred, and I know there's lots of Green Lanterns and stuff, but most people out there, myself included, if you say... I was watching Green Lantern the other day. I have in my head, you're watching Hal Jordan. Now, maybe that's just because I'm a separatist or a favoritist. Maybe so. But, hey, um, I think this is a great representation, not only of uh, Ryan Reynolds. It looks more like Ryan Reynolds as a Beavis and Butthead character, which that's not a slam. I think it's kind of funny. But I think it's actually just a good all-around Green Lantern figure. Even if you weren't thinking Ryan Reynolds, this is just a, a very, very cool figure. But it is very Beavis and butthead -ish. He's got a lot of a wobbling. Of course, if you're looking at him as Ryan Reynolds, you can say, man, what were you thinking when you let Scarlett Johansson go, I don't know, dude, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, great attention to detail in their uniforms. Obviously, we talked a little bit about the ring. It's got lots of... Uh, of the, the lifelines, I call them, because it's supposed to be like a living construct type thing, uniform. I think that that's very, very cool. Very, very sturdy base. Uh, he'll look great on a shelf. Um, I, I think it's cool all the way around. I, I do like the fact that how they emulated the haircut from the movie. I, th I think that's kind of neat. Kind of the windblown look, which is kind of, you know, normal for a pilot. You know, windblown. So, go ahead and let's look at Sinestro. Now, uh, Looking at this package, it's got the art all the way around. I like that. It tells me a little bit about it. Again, if I set it on a shelf, some of my friends come by. They're wondering, who in the world is this dude? They can take it up, look at it. I, I think they really did an excellent job. Now, okay, right away I noticed some details that I think are, are very, very cool. First thing I notice is the prelude of things to come. What do I mean? Sinestro has yellow eyes. That's cool. People say, well, he's a green lantern. You don't have green lights. No, 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 no. This tells us what's coming. This is very, very cool. Um, looking at him, I love the Widow's Peak haircut. Uh, you know, he's got Widow's Peaks all the way around his head. You know, if, you, if the name Sinestro didn't tell you this guy was going to be a bad dude, the haircut would. What about the pointy ears? He's got nice and pointy ears right there. Uh, this is the, honestly, this is an excellent skull. Now I, I do see that they do. Uh, they did put his scar down his face. It's not predominant, but it is there. Man, great detail. One of the things talking about detail is is this. Most companies might have just said, oh, they're all Green Lanterns, let's just take his head, stay, shove it on this body. But look at what they did. They actually went to the trouble, put his ring on the, the correct, on his left hand, showed the uniform, uh, changed the uniform so you can see they're different there in the back. 
that Funko really puts a lot of care into their product. I, I really respect them for what they do. Now, it's interesting, it just says Sinestro rather than Thal Sinestro. I mean, if we're going to have Hal Jordan, let's have Thal Sinestro. Um, but uh, I, I really like these. This, this, honestly, this is a great bobblehead. I mean, just all the way around. These are both really, really fun. So you ought to get them and have them like, kind of like a bookend set. Uh, or start your Green Lantern Corps. It'd have been funny if they did a Kilowog, wouldn't it? That, but with a stocky body. Wouldn't you love to see Kilowog? Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you these up close. We'll be right back. Here we are looking at the Funko Wacky Wobbler bobblehead of Hal Jordan right here. Uh, you can see that. Look at the detail of the hair with the windblown look. Great uniform, cool ring. There's his nameplate. Green Lantern on the back. This is just a great, you can obviously tell the Beavis and Butthead influence right there. Now also let's go ahead and look at Fall Sinestro. He's right here. You can see the yellow eyes. That, I mean those are piercing, aren't they? Very, very cool. There we go. Now you can see the scar. Man, look at the detail they put into these things. Pointy ears there. You can see the uniform is different. The Sinestro, there's this ring on the left hand. See even the little, the, the, uh, the light green dot in the middle. Man, look at that detail. See, they could have just skipped that, but they went ahead and put it in. You can see the uniform right here. All in all, Funko did an excellent job on these. I probably uh, lean more towards liking the, uh, the uh, Sinestro one more than the other more than Hal Jordan, but uh, these are just great fun. Make sure you go out to your local comic shop and get you some.